Hi everybody, in this lesson we're going to continue learning the Hebrew alphabet with five new letters. So these are the letters Gimel, Zayn, Tet, Samech, and Ein. Okay? So let's start with the first letter, Gimel. Gimel sounds like G, okay? So just like the letter G and the word good in English. So in print, we write it like this. Okay, just a small line here, another, a little bit diagonal line here, a long line, and a diagonal line here. Now let's do another one. And the handwritten Gimel goes like this. Okay. Gimel. G. Okay. So the next letter for today. Well, first let's learn a word with the letter Gimel. This word is Chag. Chag means holiday. So we have the Chet, Ch, with the Patach, so it's A, and then the Gimel which is the sound G. So together, Chag. As I told you, Chag means holiday. Chag. Okay? The next letter is Zayn. Zayn sounds like Z. Okay? Just like the letter Z in English. So let's see how it's written in the print form. Zayn, just a small, little bit diagonal line here. Zayn, okay, and the handwritten form is this, okay, now please don't confuse it with Gimel, which is like the mirror image of Zayn, okay, so this is Zayn and this is Gimel, okay, so pay attention not to mix these letters up. Now let's see a word with the letter Zayn. So this word is Zman. Zman. So we have the letter Zayn, which is Z with the Shva, Z. And then the letter Mem, which is the sound M with the Patach. Okay, so it's Ma. And then the last letter is the Nun Sofit, the final Nun. So it's the sound N. So together, Zman. Zman, okay? So Zman means time. The third letter for today is the letter Tet. It sounds like T, okay? So it's like T in English. So in print, we write it like this. Okay? So a bit like a square without a top line and a little tip here, okay? Tet. Let's do another one. Okay, so that's the letter Tet in print, and in handwritten form, like this, okay? So, this letter is a tall letter, okay? So, if the lines are here, you have to make sure it goes above the top line, okay? So, Tet, like this. <clears throat> now, the fourth letter for today is the letter Samech, okay? You can see the letter Samech, okay? So the sound of Samech is S, exactly like the letter S in English. So let's see how we write it down. In print, like this, okay? So line, a straight line, and then a round line like this, Samech, okay, so although it's a tfus, although it's a print version, we still have a rounded line like this, and the handwritten version is very simple, it's like a circle, 
just like the letter O in uh, English, okay? We write it a bit differently from a different direction, but it looks like just like O, the handwritten version of O uh, in English. So let's see a word with uh, these letters, with the Samech and the Tet. And this word is Matos, okay? We have the letter Mem, M, with the Kamatz, so it's Ma. And then the letter Tet, uh, with the sound O, because it's Vav, with a dot above it, so it's To, Ma, To. And then the letter S, uh, the letter Samech, S, at the end without a vowel, so it's S. So together we read it Matos. Matos, okay? Matos means airplane in Hebrew. So now the last letter for today is the letter Ein. Ein is pronounced just like Aleph, okay? So, ah, uh, it just takes the vowel uh, after it. Um, the correct pronunciation and maybe the old pronunciation is a uh, ah, uh, ah uh, in the throat, but today we are too lazy to pronounce it like this, so we just pronounce it like Aleph, like A, ah, okay? So, in print we write it like this. <clears throat> okay, so we have this line that goes down, and the bottom line, and another line here, okay? And in the handwritten version is like a loop, and it goes like this. Okay, so this is I, the sound a, uh, just like Aleph. So not, now let's see a word with the letter I. Well, this letter, as you can see here, uh, is the this word is avoda. Okay, so. Ein, with the patach, with the chataf patach, is a, okay? And then we have the letter bet, without the dagesh, which is v. And then the vowel is o, because it's vav with a dot above it, so a, v. And then we have the daled, with the kamatz, so it's da. A, v, da. And the final letter is hey without uh, Nikud, so it's just mute, so Avoda. Avoda means work or job. So that's it for today. We have only one lesson more. You can practice using the worksheet and the answers I have uploaded uh, here under the video. So see you next time. Shalom veleitraot.